I can still remember back in India in school, I was around 10 years old. There was a kid in my class who was really good at football. And someone said, oh, you're so talented. You're really good at football. That was the first time that I heard the word talent. But I didn't really understand the word talent. Is it someone who is good at something? Is he then talented? I didn't really uh, understood the difference between being good at something and just being talented. And growing up, I've heard a lot of people use the word talent when someone is good at something. Now you might believe in talent. The only issue that I have with people believing in talent is most people use the lack of talent for not even trying. For example, that there was a kid in my class in high school who was really good at painting. And there was a guy who said the same thing. Oh, you're so talented. You're really good at painting. And knowing me or being me, I said to him, you can do it as well. He said, no way, I can never do it. I don't have the talent before even trying. Now, how can you know if you can become good at something if you don't even try? That's the only thing, only issue that I have with people believing in talent. If they use that as an excuse for not even trying. Those people have a limiting belief that if you're not born with a talent, you can't be good at it. Maybe they got the mindset from their parents, their friends or from their environment. So there are people with a fixed mindset and there are people with a growth mindset. People with a fixed mindset, like I said, has a limiting belief. They think you're either born with it or you're not. They are people who has a negative view on life. They are always complaining before even trying. They think, I can't do this because of that. I can't do that because of this. Always complaining before even trying. They think the level of skills that they have are fixed. As if they can't improve. They think they can't improve and get better at something. On the other hand, there are people with a growth mindset. Those are the people who think if they put in the work, if they work hard enough, they will get better at it and they will get good at it. They believe in learning. They believe in improving oneself. They are continuous learner. They are student of life. They embrace challenges. They learn from their failures. I think from when I was a kid, I had this growth mindset. I can still remember we had this two month vacation, but unlike here, it was in December. We had two month winter vacation. And I hear all the kids talking about what they were going to do in the vacation or the, the places they were going to visit, the games they were going to play and stuff. And for me, honestly, I was thinking, how can I improve myself? How can I get better at, at that time, like running, because I like to run marathons. And even how I can improve my push-up skills and set-up skills. <laughs> I think it was inspired by Kung Fu films and anime. I don't know if you know the anime Naruto. There's a character in Naruto, Rock Lee, who doesn't have any talent. He has only one thing, and that was his Taijutsu. And he showed everyone with hard work and dedication that he can become a great ninja. And that was so inspiring. That's why he was one of my favorite character from the anime Naruto. I think I even make, made a video about Rock Lee, what I learned, the life lesson I learned from Rock Lee. You can check it out. So I think the dedication and the growth mindset was inspired by the Kung Fu films and the anime Dragon Ball Z, Naruto. Someone with a growth mindset knows that it takes time and effort to become good at something. He knows that he needs to put in a lot of effort, a lot of hard work to 
become good at something. He believes if he improve maybe 1% a day, eventually he will get good at that thing. Like the book Atomic Habits says, right? Tiny changes, remarkable results. So if you improve maybe a tiny change every day, it will bring you remarkable results. It's like the compounding effect. By the way, it's a great book, The Atomic Habits. I highly recommend you read this book to build a good habit. He even believes that if he really work hard, put in double, triple the effort, he can beat someone with a natural talent. It's like the saying goes, right? Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I truly believe that. If you're on your journey to success with the growth mindset, you also need a strong self-belief. Because let me tell you, there will be people along the journey, maybe people really close to you, even your parents, who might say, you can't achieve that. You're thinking too big or you're just dreaming. You will never achieve it. I'm speaking from my own experience. I had this, like people close to me saying that I'm dreaming too big and I can't achieve that. Even my parents, when I started this YouTube channel, they said to me, you can't never be successful at it. You are nothing special. You don't have a special talent. Why would people watch your videos? It's hard to hear it, right? But you just need to have strong self-belief. Just need to really believe in the path that you're on. I keep believing in yourself. And work hard and eventually you can show them that you were right. And you can be proud of yourself for doing that. Now you might have this belief of either you have it or you don't. But just don't let it hold you back. Imagine you are old, you are on your deathbed and you're thinking of things that you could have done but you didn't give it a shot. Imagine the regret that you will have. Would you want to have that regret? A lot of people that I've heard, a lot of older people, their biggest regret is not trying. Not going after the thing that they really want to do. That's one of the biggest regrets that most people have when they get old. So I don't want to have that regret. That's why I'm going after the things that I want to do. And I would highly recommend you to think about it and just give it a shot. Try it. We will not have regret. Now here are some actionable steps. Next time when you are faced with some challenge, I want you to shift your mindset and see it as an opportunity to grow. Even when you face setbacks and failures, I want you to think of it as a learning lesson to get better. Start by setting small goals that are easy to achieve to build up that momentum. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. And when you look back, you know, those tiny changes will bring you remarkable results. Like always, I would highly recommend you start reading books or listen to a podcast, or watch an educational video, or learn from online courses. Start your self-improvement journey if you haven't yet. You can learn from anything, actually. You can learn from people, your environment. Just be a lifelong learner. Never stop learning, never stop growing. Having a good mindset is so important for personal growth, for success, for life in general. If you want to live your life to the fullest, you need to have a good mindset. So I encourage you to try to develop a growth mindset, a strong mindset, and believe in self-improvement, believing in learning and getting better. Even if you feel like you're not good enough, even if you feel like you're 
born with no talent. Even if you have a disability or a weakness, whatever you have, just believe in yourself and believe in learning and growth. And I know you can be good at something that you really want to do. I know you can make it. I know you can become successful at whatever you want to do. Just believe in yourself and believe in the process and I'm sure you'll make it. It might take longer. It might take a long time, longer than someone with a natural talent. But I'm sure it may be slowly, but surely you'll make it. That's the belief that I have. And that's the belief that I hope you will have as well. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen to me talk about this topic. Because I'm really passionate about it. And if you have any advice that might help someone to develop a growth mindset, please leave it in the comments down below. Let's help each other grow. I just want you to live your life with no regrets. Have a growth mindset. Live your life to the fullest. Believe in yourself. Go after what you truly want. Dream big. Just do it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.